speech number two, uh, informative. All right, so. That's all gonna start. I mean, all right, so. Um, there's gonna be a speech on cigarettes and the negative and I guess positive sides to smoking cigarettes. All right, so. As you were a loved one, smoked cigarettes. <laughs> have you were a loved one ever smoked cigarettes? No. Yes. No. Yes. It wasn't really meant for y'all to like. Oh. My dad oh, Alright, cool. Alright, so you understand. Um, has that person like ever tried to stop smoking and like went back to it? Yes. Yeah. Do you know anybody that's died from smoking or has like a yeah. health effect? Like, Alright, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Heart attack. Now you really just kind of... Okay. So, um, with this presentation or this speech, I'm going to be talking about smoking demographics. Uh, we'll cover everything from race to male to females of sex, all that stuff. Um, next, I will move to the effects it has on both the body and the mind, and some health risks, other some other health risks that are associated with smoking cigarettes. So the question was uh, proposed by. Bergen of who smokes cigarettes more, men or men or women? Males. Women. Men. Women. Men. Men. Okay. Dirty. <laughs> They're definitely, all right, so about 27% of like all smokers are female and about 27, no, actually greater than 60% of smokers from ages 20, I want to say 23 to 65. That's just all men. So it's about 67%, 70%. Yeah, male smokers that are like really young too, Jeez. smoking cigarettes. So, uh, for one, that could be many things. It could come from, you know, stress in the workplace, you know, stress in the crib, uh, anything, you know, just everyday life doing it. Uh, I know from from my like personal experience, I don't smoke cigarettes, but my dad does. So I know, like he told me, he started at a young age, just like because it's pretty funny because they used to have like little cigarette candies, and you are roll the, the paper like it's a stick of gum. Mm -hmm. So he used to play around smoking those, and then he's like, he just got caught on smoking cigarettes later on. I don't know why he decided to do that. That was pretty stupid of him, but that's my pops. I love him. Mm -hmm. So. Um, one thing, well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this now because cigarette commercials are all over the place and everything like that. But I want to say minorities, well, not I want to say, but actually like minorities, so black people, uh, Latinos are the <coughs> most commonly used group like to smoke cigarettes. Cigarette advertisements in those communities are the greatest. Um, you can just, I mean, look at the commercials that are anti-smoking. All this there. Um, smoking is used as a means to, I wouldn't say keep people down, but it's a means to keep funding the system, and the system being healthcare, because nothing good comes from smoking cigarettes. So you just keep the disenfranchised down and don't give them an opportunity to bury themselves and just keep feeding them with toxins, keeping that system going, breaking the backs of the middle class and below. Uh, the impoverished. So I started you off with giving you the demographics, and now I'm going to move on to. Can you talk to me like that, please? Yeah, so now I'm going to move to the effects that smoking has on the mind and the body. So for starters, I'm going to start on the body. Uh, smoking is a carcinogen that often affects. the brain and uh, other uh, muscular features of the body. Uh, the main one that's in, the main one that is affected are you know, the lungs, of course. The longer you smoke, the worse you are. <coughs> and actually, studies show, according to the CDC, that smoking more than five cigarettes a day can lead to heart disease. This little fun fact out there. So How many? Five. So, 
I know people be smoking a pack a day, just chilling like it's nothing. How many is in a pack? Like 20 oh. or 12. Oh. Either way it goes, it's too many. It's like 15. So, um, another thing that, and this is like slow, solely for black people though, but like, we already got like problems with high cholesterol and stuff like that. So, uh, smoking uh, tends to block veins and arteries, which leads to an increased risk of stroke and heart attack. So, if you're black or Latino and you're smoking, you might have a heart attack so wow. That's the best sounds. I'm sorry, but that's literally what it leads to. And as far as the mind goes, um, cigarettes are pretty much like a drug and the adverse effects that it takes on the mind. Saying that smokers who smoke uh, often reported to the CDC in their recent study that they felt a stress relief or they felt more free or calming uh, when after they smoked a cigarette. Um, and even for those who don't smoke cigarettes, those who don't smoke, so when they don't smoke, you know, they get kind of jittery, they aggravated, easily agitated, things like that. So it kind of just, it plays into the mind and it gives people, it's like, it's pretty much like a drug, drug addiction. And so from health risks on the body and mind, we're going to move to, I mean, from the effects on the mind and body, we're going to move to health risks, other health risks in general. So, so prolonged, uh, prolonged smoke use can lead to cancer such as cancer of the esophagus, lung, um, and, oh, and, mm, oh, and in the blood and bladder. So, just a quick little wrap up, I guess, or uh, a personal experience. Uh, recently, I had somebody die from cancer from cigarettes, like, <clears throat> a long, like, a long year, like, Maybe like 20 plus years of smoking cigarettes. Uh, and it actually has developed like several types of cancer, like lung cancer. She actually had at one point like throat cancer and like um, several like malignant, malignant tumors, like started to form and stuff like that. All just, just from smoking. Like she didn't have any problems with health outside of that. So that was pretty shocking to find uh, that, you know, cigarettes could do so much to the body. I knew you get lung cancer from because of course they put the warning on there, but I mean, it just led so many more things. Um, but yeah, so that is, <laughs> that is pretty much my little spiel on smoking cigarettes and why you shouldn't smoke cigarettes, not only because they're bad for you, but because you bang heels all day, you're not cool. Um, I hope that you did come with some facts and some information to take from it, and hopefully you can apply it to yourself and not other people to other people know. Yeah.